Hi, um, I wanted to do just a quick review of Evan Moore's uh, reading, Read to Understand Poetry. Um, I haven't seen any reviews for this. I want to review content that I just don't find on YouTube, so hopefully this will work out. So this is the workbook. Um, it's for grades 4 through 5. Um, I would even push it and say 6, um, especially if your student or your child hasn't done anything in regards to poetry. Um, it's really good. It's just a really good beginner um, uh, book of just lesson plans. It's a workbook. Um, I like to tear the pages out if I don't print them and we have because I don't like to have my son carry his workbooks everywhere because we're we're a very tr huge traveling family so I, if I don't print them out I'll just tear the pages out but um this is a really good book um it's so once, once your child has um if your child has what, what would I say an easy time doing independent work this is it if you're a busy mom this is it um, you can always go over the answers together because usually when the correcting comes in or the adjusting comes in, that's really where the learning also happens. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through this. I'm going to start with the content. Wondering if you can see that. Um, so here in the contents, there's really... Um, just introductions to how to use this. Uh, you start for from family album, wacky words, verse in motion. Um, so these all are different types of literary styles, different types of poetry styles. Um, it gives you an introduction to how to use this book. It is so simple. I'm not the type of person that usually reads too many introductions. It's more of my husband. But this was just so simple and easy for me to follow. Um, so this is what I'm talking about here. So usually you have the poem on the right and then you'll have your teaching lesson plan over here to the left. Um, it's very easy for you to follow. This is what I enjoy about, let me get my pencil, what I enjoy about this. Usually if I am busy, if we have a busy schedule, I'll go ahead and just do this and then my son will know. That I want him to read this before he goes into this and I'll of course read this and I'll underline things that I want him to go ahead and focus on I believe I have there we go so here I have um, kind of underlined things I really want him to take notice of he was in fifth grade at the time so he was able to follow and do work independently um, we also pair this up with our language arts curriculum called Brave Writer. That's a whole different story. But there is poetry um, that we have to do in there. And so we do recite. We copy by hand. Um, we prep to memorize. And uh, we use uh, recall tools just to memorize it. And then we recite it from memory. And he has a pretty good time. This one was very, very difficult to memorize because um, Lewis Carroll is very, very tricky. He uses a lot of made-up words. Um, but overall, let's go back to the first one. Um, this is basically it. You have your poem, you have your lesson plan. You can just highlight this for your kids if you want them to do it on their own. And then you go ahead and you have just multiple choice and then you have open-ended questions here, which are really fun. And that's usually it. And then over here we have the same thing, different poem, uh, lesson plan, we have open-ended, I'm sorry, open-ended, and then we have multiple choice, and it's very simple, very, very simple. Um, my son liked this one, A Book of Nonsense. Um, we got to recite these and understand uh, the different elements of poetry. I went ahead and let me see if I can find this. So we used something called uh, the Poet's Toolbox, which I actually got from this workbook here. It says the Poet's Toolbox, um, and for example, this is verb forms. Um, there's other ones, for example here, Poets Toolbox is Metaphor and Simile. And so what I did is I, we actually created a box. And I got these online um, for free. And what we do is I take out, we take out the ones that, you know, that are assigned to the poem. 
So we have the simile. They didn't have metaphor with this pack, which is kind of strange. So we made metaphor. Um, and then so we kind of leave these out and we work on them. Um, that way he can kind of recognize and start to memorize what a uh, simile is, what a metaphor is, um, what an idiom is. So we use these. These are fun little manipulatives that we have. Um, but overall, this is it. This is just fantastic. It's perfect. I said, if you're on the go and you're very busy, um, or maybe you're just kind of, you know, we're exhausted. It happens. Um, I just, bam, I just bracket it. I underline, um things that I want him to focus on. Sometimes, actually he did this one, I didn't underline anything, but he started to underline what he thinks he should be using for this poem here. And so we have the open-ended and then we have um, the multiple choice. So this is it guys. Um, hope this helps. I will try and link um, the little cards for the poet's box that I found. Um, in the description and the box you can just find anywhere online how to make a box out of paper um, and it'll do just fine but here it is um, they do have the papers are uh, perforated so you could tear this out which is what I like um, it's tempting to I usually like to keep my books for a while but you know this one's kind of been chopped up but for the most part this is an amazing book um, I'll go ahead and link it in the description if you are like me and have no idea how to even teach and to how to read and understand poetry, this is it. I learned so much with my son. So it was fun. It was fun to do. Um, with our Brave Writer um, curriculum, which I showed earlier, um, that we actually have something called Poetry Tea Time. They call it Tea Time. I have a boy, so we call it Snack Time. Um, and it really helps just to be able to kind of take some time to relax, have a snack, and really talk about what we're studying. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, or if you have any suggestions, if you have any other poetry books that you want to share with other homeschool parents, go ahead and comment them below.